We're group 10, and I'm Tao. I'm Jennifer. I'm Yesleba. I'm Carolyn. And I'm Mukti. And, and this is our Starbucks presentation. So we'll be talking about Starbucks. We'll start with the introduction. I'll go into the history, the globalization, and we'll look at how it's customer-oriented, employee-oriented, their social responsibility, and then by how they're financially successful, and we will end it with the conclusion. So uh, Starbucks, the success of Starbucks can be attributed to its organizational culture. Starbucks is an extremely people-oriented company. They are, glo they are globally successful with their uh, strong globalization. They are internally successful because they retain their employees, and they are externally successful because they are extremely customer-oriented and they take pride in their social responsibility. The CEO, Howard Schultz, has previously said that Starbucks is not in the coffee business serving people, they're in the people business serving coffee. And because of that, they've been able to be economically, ethically, and socially sustainable. So the history of Starbucks goes back to 1971. Um, Starbucks was originally founded in Seattle, Washington by Jerry Baldwin, Gordon Bowker, and Dev Siegel. It was originally just a single store selling coffee and tea, and it, the name came from Moby Dick's novel, uh, no, Herman Melville's novel, Moby Dick. And in 1982, they hired Howard Schultz as the director of marketing. Schultz later went to Italy in 1986, and he saw the uh, coffee shops and espresso shops in Italy, and he was inspired to create his own similar model in the United States. Um, the, own, the current owners of Starbucks didn't like the idea, but Star uh, Schultz went on to pursue it by himself. Later in 1987, the, uh, the owners went to pursue Pete's Coffee instead, and they sold Starbucks to Schultz, and he made Starbucks expand. And today there's almost 18,000 stores in over 50 countries. Um, part of Starbucks' success can be attributed to its globalization. It's been successful in its domestic markets, so later on it expanded, like most other companies do. After they're domestically sustainable, they expand further into the world. Um, the Starbucks originally, when they started to expand, they had an American business model which didn't necessarily fit the other foreign markets. The first international coffee house opened in 1996 in Tokyo, Japan. And Starbucks, um, because of their globalization, they have been able to adjust to the other markets. They, um, they match local tastes and preferences. For example, in Asia, um, Asian cultures prefer tea over coffee. So in J when they opened their store in Japan, they introduced the item, the green tea, matcha green tea latte, which um, after, it's been, um, after it's been introduced into the Asian market, they globalized and came back to the American market. So there's an exchange of products and new items. Um, the other items in other uh, markets include the Australian Shepherd beef pie in, for Australians um, and the red bean scone in China. And Starbucks is a globally recognized brand and all, when it's, Starbucks is expanded to other countries, it's known as Americanization, but today everyone knows Starbucks all around the world. Um, customer orientation. Uh, Starbucks is mainly focuses on their customer service within store and out. Uh, such as catering to what the customer wants and needs, as well as what, as well as making sure that the customer is always right and satisfied. <clears throat> Continuing on, um, Starbucks does have rewards, such as the gold card, in which um, rewards customers for their purchases, um, dealing with like gold stars and stuff for either free drink and whatnot. Uh, lastly, there is a wide range of selection in order to satisfy customers' needs. Um, alteration of drinks um, is made so that, that the customer is happy. So for the employer mandate of what Starbucks do, does is that they create and maintain a very strong, transparent culture and where they try to make um, an enjoyable and desirable environment for people to work. So it's, it's a place where people actually like to go to work. Um, they also employ, uh, they also give many employee benefits such as um, health insurance, assistant programs, paid vacation, six days, uh, personal days, and they also help um, pay part of the tuition for those partners that actually want to um, advance and extend their career. So they have two exceptional programs. One of them is a Partner Connect program where people could go and socialize and um, meet, try to find different interests outside of work. So it's um, basically, if, you guys, if you're not working on the same, um, like in the same branch, people still know each other and they can um, like go out and 
socialize, you know, and for the partner recognition program, that's where it, they actually recognize the employees, um, all the different achievements, if they perform their greater performance, that's a way to motivate them and keep them in the company. Um, basically, throughout these different characteristics, um, Starbucks maintain a positive experience for both current and prior employees. Um, they both express, current employees express, even on their blogs, the um, great experience they had working through Starbucks. So Starbucks engages in corporate um, social responsibility activities, including community involvement during community service and environmental awareness through implementing front of store recycling and also building leadership skills and youth through the Starbucks Foundation. And they also make sure that all their suppliers are responsible and ethical. And this gives Starbucks an excellent brand image, which contributes to their uh, Starbucks has constantly adhered to the employee and customer oriented culture, and this has led to their financial success. So, an example would be their quarter two earnings, which were released on April 25th, 2013. They had an 11% net increase, 32% um, card activation increase, and 590 new stores worldwide. So, what does this mean? 32% um, act card activation increases could suggest that more people are using Starbucks cards as means to pay for drinks. And then the 11% net revenue increase would suggest that um, more customers are choosing Starbucks as, uh, as their coffee uh, need. 590 new stores worldwide mean that um, em more employees can join the Starbucks network as well. Now, Starbucks also has a high pricing strategy in China. This means that a cup of coffee in, coffee in Shanghai is more expensive than one in the US. Um, they use this as, Starbucks is known as a brand of materialistic purchase in China. So. Um, it's more seen as a uh, luxury. Um, they have higher prices but lesser volumes. This also has a more profit as well in China. And um, um, also, Starbucks is compared to a five-star hotel, their service. And so many people would be, may choose Starbucks' service over the preferred taste of a competitor. And high employee satisfaction rate is due to the fact that they have um, compensation packages, good work environments, and training versus other multinational companies in China. Um, now also the financial market, Starbucks has outperformed their competitor Dunkin' Donuts for two years and this is maybe because of their inviting nature and cozy environment. Uh, more people uh, would like to stay in Starbucks, maybe use their Wi-Fi, have more than one drink, uh, versus uh, Dunkin' Donuts which is more of a fast food, they have fluorescent lighting, limited seating, so it's more for the people on the go. And Starbucks also has great employee benefits, they spend about 300 million dollars in healthcare benefits versus any other company. And even in economic hardships, they did not cut their healthcare as well. So this is the two-year comparison. So as you can see, um, around in April, there's a huge spike, and this is due to their quarter two earnings. As you can see from there, they had a little bit of um, not success here, but they've gone up the percent returns, and then Dunkin' Donuts is the one in the green, as you can see. So the conclusion is that Starbucks has constantly adhered to their organizational culture by being um, by adapting to different markets, such as tea and Asian countries, as uh, Dal mentioned earlier. They also have a human connection with customers and employees. Um, they're also very socially responsible. They're a transparent company. Their records are available online. They do a lot of community service. They have programs for the youth. And they're diminishing their carbon footprint through um, environmental uh, programs. And they've also, um, they have a very driven and rich culture, which um, can be noted, noted by their mission statement. Our mission is to inspire and nurture the human spirit, one person, one cup, one neighborhood at a time.